Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. I am so incredibly thrilled to finally be opening and building the Ninjago City, the brand new big modular building that's been released to go with the Ninjago movie. Now, this set on its own is wow. It it just is fully detailed. It's so whimsical to look at and the fusion between Japanese and Western culture and old and new is just incredible. And I just can't tell you how excited I am to be building this. So I'll talk about it as we go. However, look at all these bags and these boxes. There are 41 bags. They are labeled to the numbers 16 and there are 4,867 pieces. So this is gonna take a fair level of time. There are three books, level one, level two for the street level, level one's for the old section down the bottom and level three is for the high rise up the top. So like I said before, this is a modular building. And we're going to start with the first of many mini figures. This one here is Kai, and he's got the number two in the Ninjago alphabet, or numerical alphabet y code -y thing, written on his outfit. And he's got a croissant, and he's got two faces. We've put the slightly beaten up one to the front, and he's going to nibble on his croissant while we start this absolutely massive build. So it's on a big grey base plate, and we've got lots and lots of flat elements just to start this off and it might seem a little bit dull to start with but as you see it taking shape I think you're going to be as amazed and excited as I am because there is so much intricate detail in the design and the architecture and just everything here so <laughs> let's have a look and, and like I said we'll talk about it as we go along so currently we're putting on the bottom level the very base of the river that's going to flow through underneath the bottom of of Ninjago City and a little bit of the bottom of the buildings too. So here we go. All of this green and the black and even some of those tan pieces. Oh, look at those bright yellow pieces. They are so cool. They're also part of the water where it might be a bit slimier, a bit shallower. <laughs> We're going to see how this takes place though. How it all takes shape. So, first book is the street level, the older level. This whole build, the whole Ninjago city is built up on top of it itself. So, newer buildings go on top of the old buildings and it is all just a big eclectic mix of different styles and higgledy piggledy architecture and nooks and crannies where you can see lots of things just kind of stuffed in there and shoved in there yet it all makes cohesive sense now we're up to bag number two <laughs> might have sped that up a bit and we've got our second mini figure who is the first of our well i think he might be the fisherman let me check i think this is yes he's a fisherman he this is conrad and he's got his little hat which is going to be attached here on the back and he's got a blue fish and obviously he's not one of the bad guys even though he does have a spear and a fish he's out there oops hold on I just lost that spear let's get it back <laughs> I got it and I don't know whether the spear is actually for catching the fish which it might be because he hasn't been equipped with a fishing line or for spearing the fish as he goes along in his little fishing boat his little old-fashioned fishing boat so let's build that not 100% old-fashioned because it is powered by solar power that is the solar panel just going on there on the front and in the little covered area that we're gonna have in the back there's actually a fan to propel it forwards that's this bit here so it's being solar powered which is cool such a great mix of old and new I just love it all. I love the Asian and Western cultures all mixed in together too. So here's the covered part of the fishing boat. We need two big ones of these on the side and three smooth long ones to go over the top. There. Oh, we might just need to wriggle these around a bit so that they all fit in nice and snugly the way they should and don't stick out in strange angles there there we go so Conrad has now got his fishing boat uh, and we can even sit him down in here too he can have a bit of a comfy sit inside his fishing boat that's why there's a curved piece in the back so that his hat can actually fit in there oh that's that's so clever and he's currently going along our rivery bit the stream underneath but see all these blue tiles these translu translucent blue tiles we're going to be covering the whole water area with these so here we go 
This is going to look absolutely marvellous when it's finished. Now you can even see some little green flowery bits in there, so seaweed or floating plants sticking up out of the water. And do you see how we have all those coloured areas underneath? The dark bits show where it's going to be deeper through the water and where it's now looking lighter on the side, greenish on the side. It's a little bit shallower. There's just so much detail in here. And over on this side, we've got some black bits for the darker areas of the water and those fluorescent green pieces, which are, like I said before, I think they're the slimy area where it's really shallow. All right, the water is all done. Now it's time to make a little docking area for Conrad's boat. So this is going to be some brown bamboo pipes. Let's do that with tubes. There we go, Kai's trying it out. We're kind of halfway done. We need another set to go behind that. That's only, that's too small a docking area. All right, move over Kai and there. Now we've got a fantastic little docking decking area and we're up to bag number three. So we've got all the water in, just check it out from this angle. So you can see what I was talking about, the black areas are deeper and it just adds a layer of depth to it all. It, it, all those colored pieces underneath the water, it's just amazing. I'm just so excited about the design of this. We are up to the next minifigure and this little fellow is one of the villagers, or one of the peasants. This is the uh, Germanicai. Jamanakai, Jamanakai, Jamanakai villager, and he is well. He's he's a collector of frogs. So here's his little frog that's going to go in his basket on his back. That also sits very snugly, and he gets himself a staff. Now uh, he apparently wanders the village, making no sense, but he's a very very good supplier of frogs. <laughs> what do they use frogs for? I don't actually know. Now we're starting to put in some of the little building areas that are on this street level of Ninjago City. Are you seeing all the different textures and the colors? So it's still very obvious we're building up brick areas, old brick, but not just all in the same colour. There are different patterns, there are different variations of the colours. It is just so very exciting. And these are kind of cobbledy areas over here with cobblestones or big old uneven footing pathways. <laughs> it's just very exciting. Tell me when I need to stop talking because they're just so excited. Little stairs down with some mossy bits on the side. Obviously the sun doesn't get down here to dry it out so much and it gets quite damp because it's down here on the river level, the sewery sort of level that travels underneath the city. Another old, old stone pathway there, little stairway, and we're starting to build up to a bridge. So we need to put the footings down for this old stone bridge. And now we have the first of the stickers and Ninjago has actually released their own alphabet for this movie. And I have no idea, <laughs> no idea what that sticker means. When I tried to translate it, it came out as D-I-T-Y and that doesn't make any sense to me. So if you know what that first sticker means, you must let me know in the comments. Now, we've got some piping down here and a couple of little archways for the water to be able to travel through. Might be a bit of a sewer area down here. Maybe all the piping, water for the village, the city is all situated down here. And now we're doing the other side for our bridge. And another step up to it, another set of steps. And here is that sticker again, except this time it's got a jellyfish on the top, but it still has those same letters and I don't know what it means. Hmm.
And over here, we've got a control panel and you'll see what this becomes in a moment. We are up to bag number four. We've now got some more of these little pipe things, but these aren't for pipes. These are actually a charging station for Sweep, the little robot who wanders around Ninjago City and keeps everything clean. Here is his his blueprint information-y thing. I think that's got to do with his charging. So he's got his, his control panel in here, in his tiny little shack down the bottom of Ninjago City. And this is where he comes back to recharge and, well, to sleep. And he's got all of these, these little papered windows. And, and on here, is the most elegant of pictures, which now faces outside. So you're gonna see that from the street view. Kai's checking that out, now he's checking out the water. And now we can build sweep. Now Sweep also has got a basket on his back so that he can put the rubbish he collects into it. And he's got such an innovative little design. I like his hat. We saw this hat before uh, in the, the Lego Ninjago movie minifigures on Garmadon, but not in black. So it's cool to have that one now in a, in a brown piece. So he's now in his charging station. Now we need to finish the rest of his little shack down here, his charging shack, and it's got shutters on the outside. So we need to build some shuttered walls for him. There we go, first panel, and a door, obviously, so he can get in and out. There. And he's got his little picker uppery thing to pick up all of the rubbish. Oh, he needs a broom too. Hold on, I'll look for his broom in a moment. We need to keep building some shutters at the moment. <laughs> and we'll put him back on to charge too while we keep building, then he'll be fully charged. We'll be able to send him out and he'll be able to clean up the city as we make a bit of a mess as we go along with our building. Now we've got a ladder leading up here. There are so many little alleyways and walkways around. We're barely seeing them yet, but this is gonna be the first of them. And I just love how we're seeing that uneven rock down the bottom or the stone paving. Yeah, we've put him out. He can keep supervising. Oh, he's cleaning Kai while we do this next little room. And I'm not certain, these are all going to be wall panels, but I'm not certain how they all work. Now, here we've got another little panel there. This is the public telephone, the only public telephone in Ninjago City. And those letters mean, well, those letters say FN, so for phone. And that goes on the outside. It's apparently your taxi stop. So you ring here and you wait for the taxi. <laughs> There's no signs to let you know that. I only know that because I read that in the description. Now, inside here, we've got we've got a little marketplace. So this is where our fisherman can come and sell his wares. So he's got a got a crab and he's got some fish. And that's all that goes in the marketplace. It's actually quite a big area for just our little display of fish and a crab. <laughs> and our next sign I don't know what that one means. It doesn't make any sense to me. But this one here, this one here says, visit Bricksburg. <laughs> That's very funny. Now, can you see all of these, these elements that are all coming in together to make such an, oh, just, just a really, Funny builds. There was even this tiny little bit of green up the top there just for a bit more moss. Okay, I promised you a bridge. It is now time to do that bridge. So let's get that happening. Our next sticker goes up here. Lots and lots of signage around Ninjago City, half of it that I can't decipher. A lot of these are little Easter egg, little jokes from Lego past and Ninjago past. Now we are up to bag number five 
and we meet our next minifigure that comes in here. This here is Sally with her cute little freckles and her gorgeous brown hair and she well, she's a bit of a frog entrepreneur, so she's got a bit of grub <laughs> on her clothes there and she's out here collecting some frogs while we keep on with our build. Now up here on the second level of our old area, we've got a little handle there and now this is fantastic. These are all crowbars and we're putting, I think it's 13 of them on here and they make an awning. And they go, they, it's just perfect. How on earth did the designers decide to do that? Why would you look at the crowbar design and think that that was going to work? It just takes a much more imaginative creative mind than mine, but it is brilliant. Now, we've got a big upright pole here on the side. And it's going to help support some of the rest of Ninjago City as we go up. And our next sign, which is high tech. <laughs> so we've got a high tech sign up here. I could actually decipher that one. So I was feeling quite proud of myself when I did that. Brilliant. Now we're heading back down to put some greenery into the water. And wildlife too. There are lots of frogs around here. And yes, Sally spotted that one. Now this is ingenious. In these little spaces here, there are green art palettes, new colouring for these, for lily pads. How amazing is that? That's just one of the awesome details that excited me so much about this build. In fact, this whole build is just so much fun and we're, we're not even, we're barely into it. There are 16 labelled bags and 41 bags all up. So yeah, we're doing, we've still got lots more fun to go. <laughs> now we've got another one of our uprights. None of the upright poles in this are the same. This one seems to be kind of like a communication tower or some sort of satellite -y thing it's got a oh oh it might be for for radio or something like that or for television anyway it's got big satellite dishes and a big silver crab up the top and down the bottom we're clicking in here so that holds it all in nicely and now we're just adding some detail to the bridge And our beautiful old stone bridge also gets smoothed over tops and railings. So let's put them on. And they are these colours because, well, they're the right colours to show that they've been affected by time and moisture and they just look fantastic. And a bit more greenery down here, just near the entrance, underneath the bridge. And it's looking spectacular. And this sign, look at that, there's a little printed arrow piece. And on this sign, we've got, uh, it's upside down. It's a, is it a crab or a squid? It says sushi. So there is going to be some sushi here. <laughs> and we're heading up and this build is far from boring. There is there's barely any repetition apart from all of those blue pieces that we put on for the water, but that was so worth it. This here has the letter S on it. I don't know what that's for, but maybe we'll end up with a shop and we'll find out as we go along. And this big column that we're making is going to end up, we're going to be adding some bright orange pieces to it. This is going to be an elevator so we can get up to the different levels of Ninjago City. It's all hand controlled of course, but it looks fantastic too. It's a nice element to tie all of the different levels in. And rather than walkways, we've got doors on their side so we can go across like that. And this big green sign, no idea what it says. And Kai's just hiding behind it. But it's like a banner that hangs over the stairway. We're up to bag number six and our next minifigure. Our next minifigure is Ivy Walker. She has a fantastically new printed torso piece and two different faces. She looks worried, possibly, possibly because she is in charge of this diamond and nobody seems to know why. I haven't actually seen the movie yet, so I don't know, but she's run off with it. And oh no, hold on, here she is, she's back again. So she's gonna watch while we build the next part of this build. Now this is the first of the living quarters. We've got a flat bed down here on the floor with a couple of little flat pillows. Here is a bureau with a couple of drawers in it. All very simple, but it's quite obvious to see what they are. Another little drawer over there, a little table. And we'll see what we're gonna put on the top in a moment. We just need to build our walls up a bit. 
and there's this big semicircle in it. That's cool. All right, this is what's going on our upright. It's a TV screen with Good Day Ninjago on it, which is obviously Ninjago City's equivalent of daytime TV. <laughs> That's really cool. And oh, look at that. That's the most beautiful window. It's all just so perfect. This is, this is quite honestly, the most interesting build I have ever had. It is just full of fun. And this sticker here is going to add some decoration to the inside of this little apartment. This little living quarters. Oh, and a rice paper sliding door. Beautiful. that is very cool now we need to smooth over the top because all of these little rooms are able to be removed and put back on so you can access them internally and you can access the areas underneath too it is the most fantastic design <laughs> and when it's all put in it just looks so higgledy piggledy now we've got another control panel and that goes over here and we've just put Kai in here so he can demonstrate I don't know if this is where he lives but he can demonstrate <laughs> how it all works and on the outside, got it's all powered by solar power. Very environmentally friendly. Well done, Ninjago. And we've just flipped that control panel down, so I don't know quite how that works. But anyway, this goes up here above Sweep's little charging shack. Look at that right on top, and Kai's just coming out. We need another little piece of greenery there, and that handle there stops everybody from falling off, hopefully. Look at that. That's so clever. <laughs> and now we've got another little room to put up on that level. Look at that beautiful black glossy table and a little kneeling pad down there as well. And some brand new railing designs, especially for this. And they are just gorgeous and they're perfect for this style. And we're going to put Ivy in here. She can try it out. <laughs> and hopefully she can have very soon a nice calming refreshment. Now check this out. This is just so clever. This is a hair piece which has been newly coloured into green and it's being used as a topiary, a shaped plant here for decoration in the corner of the tea room or the living area, the dining area. I actually don't know whether this is a commercial tea room because Ivy's going to sit here anyway. Actually, no, she's not. Kai's going to sit here. I don't know whether there's a commercial tea room or whether this is connected by the little walkway to the apartment that we saw next door. So whether it's private quarters or whether it's somewhere anyone can come up for a cup of tea. Beautiful, soothing tea. But I suppose it's kind of up to us. And in here is a big panel with a hanging with a tiger on it. And that gives a bit of privacy through that big circle window. Doesn't that look spectacular? <laughs> There's so many awesome details in there. Another sliding rice paper door. And now we are ready to finish up on the top here. And are we going to use crowbars again? I don't know. We're smoothing this all off or maybe lantern. Oh, here's some lanterns. So the lanterns, oh no, they go down here on these little out hanging pieces. And those gold pieces are to hold our awnings here, completely different awnings out at just the right level. That is so clever. Oh my goodness. This is very, very exciting. So this goes here across the walkway from the apartment, right over the top of the fish market. And look at that, you can access it through that teeny tiny walkway through the two rice paper doorways. That's, it's just looking so fantastic and we're barely done. So we're up to level two, the second book. This one is the newer level and we're up to bag number seven. Like I said before, there are 16 numbered bags. So you are gonna have to join me for the next video where we will start building the new level, which is even more quirky and funny and colorful and eclectic than the one we've just seen. So let's keep adding on to Ninjago City very soon. Make sure you subscribe and click the little notification bell. That way you get notified when new videos go up and you won't miss them. 
Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Tell me all the things that I missed and I don't know or tell me what you thought of it. It really is amazing. And I'm going to see you with the next part of the build very, very soon.